Thank you, Bristol. Thank you, the whole area. If it, because of your love and support, it's overwhelming. We are just overwhelmed by the ability to do what we're doing. Well, I'm originally from Nebraska, which is very, very much like Tennessee. I mean, we're literally a state away, uh, Missouri. So the only difference is now I'm living in the mountains, where in Nebraska, it's pretty flat. And it's wonderful here because the people have been so inviting and so friendly, and I'm trying to pick up the draw a little bit. So that's also funny. Uh, but I've, I've been here because family's here. I have two sisters, we have nephews, we have mom and dad, we have nieces, we have it all. And that's why we didn't have that in Baltimore. And we were, we liked Baltimore, but at 50 years old, we're no longer going out and partying and all that stuff, so it's time to be serious. And so moving down here was not just to help us, but it was to help the family as well. And that's what Bristol's all about, community. And I want to stay that way with our business as well. Cheesecake is something I've done now for 16 years. At the beginning, I was a hairstylist for 35 years. And every day I did hair all day long. And then after work, around 8 o'clock, I'd go upstairs because I lived above the business. I had the whole building. And I would bake cheesecakes for my clients. And it just became a side business. And then I started getting charitable places like Ducks Unlimited and Pheasants, whatever that one is called. And, and they would ask me to bring cheesecakes for them to auction off to the guests to raise money. So that's how the business just kept growing and growing. And I was up till two, three in the morning making cheesecakes, even though I was working all day long as a hairstylist. Um, then when I moved to Baltimore actually to get married, and then we decided when COVID hit, we couldn't afford to live in Baltimore anymore, so we decided to come home to mom and dad. And when we did that, we all decided, let's open a business, let's do cheesecake. Because I have the recipe, it's my recipe. Mom is an excellent baker and cake decorator, so hand in hand, it just came together. And then my husband, Jim, of course, uh, loves to bake, cook everything. He's, he's done it for years. So he's our crust and cookie guy. And then eventually we're gonna add breads that are, everything's cheesecake, so all of our breads and things that we're gonna do for holidays will have cheesecake stuffed inside. Um, straw stuffed strawberries that are dipped in chocolate, things like that. So that's how we got here. And then we decided, I started working with mom because I had fallen and broken my back and I couldn't actually do hair anymore, but I could still whip that whisk. So that's why we decided to do this. The cheesecake to me, I grew up on the no-bake cheesecake with canned cherries on top, which was my favorite. I would sit there and eat until I was blue in the face. And my parents would be like, that's enough, that's enough. So I tried, when I traveled with my uh, other business, I tried cheesecakes all over and they're just, they're good, but they're heavy. You can't eat the whole thing. And I wanna be able to enjoy my dessert. So I thought, what can I do to make the cheesecake more lighter and fluffier. So I played around with the recipes until I found one and it has actually served us for 420 flavors right now. So I haven't had a single one that did not work. And that's my cheesecakes or our cheesecakes is baked like a New York cheesecake, but it's light and fluffy. So it's not the texture of what you're thinking a New York style cheesecake would be. It's more of the texture of a no bake cheesecake. Tip in the scale, oh my. Well, tip in the scale is exactly what it is. If <laughs> I had two roommates when I started making cheesecake and after the first three months, all three of us had gained 60 pounds. <laughs> we're all bodybuilders and uh, uh, that was the whole thing. We were all lifting weights, trying to stay on our diets and be healthy. And one of my best friends, my brother basically, comes out of his room, he looks down at his belly and he says, no more. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we'd all gain so much weight. So tipping the scale is exactly that. If you come here every single day and you start eating our cheesecake, you're probably going to tip your scale. So if you look at the logo, it's this bull, Petey. His name is Petey. It's a family joke. And I won't go into that. Um, but Petey here is on our mascot for our logo and he's actually eating cheesecake and he's tipping the scale. We have a thing here at the, at the business that if you can think of it, we can make it. And if you think of one that we haven't made, we'll make it the flavor of the week and you get to eat a slice for free. And it wasn't even one day and we had a customer that's come in practically every day since we've opened, super nice, wonderful woman. Um, and she says, well, how about this? And she says, how about a toasted coconut macaroon on top of a key lime cheesecake? So last week's flavor of the week was that actually for Mother's Day. And she created it, so we gave her props, posted all over Facebook, and she got to come in and eat a piece for free. Like I said, the concept here is we will always have a vanilla bean with a graham cracker crust, a lemon with a sugar cookie crust, and a chocolate truffle with a fudge brownie crust. Now that is all cheesecake. And then we'll have our flavor of the week, or day, maybe both, a sugar-free option and a gluten-free option always available for those people that need that. If you want to make a, if you want to order a whole cake, you cannot come in and say, I want to buy a whole cake. It has to be pre-ordered and it requires up to 72 hours now because of the demand that we have. We originally started with 24 hours and now we're up to 72 already after just four weeks. So we really push that to the customers to allow us to be able to get what they want on time and make it right. Um, when they come in, they get to come in and eventually there will be a display case where this bar is so they can actually see the cheesecakes. That's what everybody wants to see when they walk in. Where are the cheesecakes? Well, they're right here in the refrigerator, staying cold, but we put them in slices so it's easier for us to serve you, the customer. They can come over to the display case where all of our homemade cookies, our homemade danishes, the stuff with cheesecake, and then our Kahlua brownies, which are amazing. They're made with real Kahlua moms just amazing with those and they have a praline crust a pecan praline crust and then we also will do other things like for instance a white chocolate blondie or something like that may be available to the customer weekly will change flavor of the week um, and then they can do that or they can use those to create flavors for their, their cheesecake if they wish we'll crumble if they want we have what we call parfaits and banana splits they are not ice cream we actually bake a cheesecake without the crust both all three the lemon the chocolate and the vanilla and then we take an emulsion blender and whip it into a fluff put it in a bowl put it in the freezer now it becomes ice cream so the substitution of ice cream is a baked cheesecake and so that way everybody gets to have that they can build their own flavors that way too little kids love it because they don't they're not sure what cheesecake is but if they can make a sundae with M&Ms and Skittles and Fruity Pebbles then they love it and now that's promoting them for future taste that they'll want cheesecake later We're not in competition with anybody, not even any other bakery in town, none of that. We are actually willing to work with them in catering or anything else that they want to do. And because we are so unique, and the strawberries, for instance, like you had mentioned, if we're selling their product and they are promoting our product, and that's further, even if it's 10 miles away, we're spreading and everybody else is growing at the same time. And our goal is to try to be in one in every city in this whole area if we can someday. And that would mean those people get to come with us and be a part of that as well. You have people that sell cheesecakes in their restaurant and they have them made by other bakers from other towns or whatever and brought in or brought in from Cheesecake Factory or whatever. Um, but yeah, there's nothing like this. This is a very unique concept. We are uh, by the slice. You can build your own flavors by picking our dry goods, our sauces, our toppings, and by combinations alone, just with the few that we have, you have hundreds of flavors. Well, on our very first day, we had the um, pleasure of meeting the owner of Bistro on 6th, and he asked uh, if we would be willing to supply them with cheesecake for their desserts because it is a tedious thing to make. I mean, it's not like you make, bake it and set it on the counter 20 minutes later, you can eat it. You have to let it set up. And it usually takes about six hours unless you have a blast chiller. But then even then, cheesecake needs to cool slowly and then be brought up to the temperature for cutting. Bistron 6 was the first one. And then about, oh, I'd say a week later, we had a um, 
strawberry farm come in and ask us if we'd be willing to use their strawberries for our flavors and we were like absolutely and they brought in several kinds for us to sample and taste and with one bite we were just like you don't even have to add sugar to this so that's why we took on them um, and then just two days ago during actually mother's day saturday the uh, director or manager of the Bristol Hotel in Virginia walked in. He's in charge of the restaurant and the upstairs on the patio uh, and the whole hotel's food. Came in and asked if we'd be willing to make their cheesecake as well because it's such a high demand there and it is very tedious, as he said it as well, for their people to make because it takes so long to set up and get it done right. So they came in and asked us. They picked up the key lime with the coconut macaroon that was the flavor of the week. They also got a lemon and they took it back to the uh, hotel where everybody could sample and then two days ago they called and said we want your business so very exciting very 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 exciting My future goals for the business, our future goals is to grow. We would love to franchise. And like I said, we would like to be at least in all the cities in the area, if we can be, uh, or further away, just so that way all the people out, say by Greenville and further on down by Irwin, they can all still get the cheesecake. Now I didn't mention that we do deliver. And a lot of people don't know that, but we will deliver if it's a $40 purchase or more, which is not hard to do if you're having a dinner party or you have fam big family and you want dessert, um, we will deliver up to the first 25 miles and then after that there's a cost for the extra. You can go to our Facebook page, which is what we have right now. We don't have a website. We are working on that. But go to Tip in the Scale, and that's T-I-P-N, the scale, and you'll see hundreds of photographs of what we've done, lots of comments, lots of likes and loves. Um, we post pictures of every new flavor we do and love the way people are you know, getting on to it that way. Um, we do not have a sign on our roof yet, which is a problem for people finding us um, because the landlord's supposed to replace the roof first. So once that's done, we'll get us an amazing sign out there so people can see us. But now that we've been open for about a month, I think the word's getting out that we're here. Um, people thought we were further down a block, but they figured it out. That's really the best way to do it, or you can call my phone number, um, which is listed everywhere on Facebook, on the front, out on the signs in the yard. 423-914-9962 if you want a cheesecake. Our hours are now, because of the demands that we have and the lack of our third baker, unfortunately, who has been out, um, we are now gonna change our hours to 10 to eight. So that allows mom and I to bake, Cut, get everything customized for everybody as well as supply the other chains that we're going to be doing with the hotel and the restaurant as well as our supply because we don't want to run out and that's what's been happening is we've been selling out and that's great news really it is for a new business but me I, I'll be in here cleaning for two hours and people will pull up and I'll go open the door and let them come in and oh, this is what I have left only and that's how we do it you know but if we don't have our flavor of the week or our main flavor like vanilla chocolate, it takes six hours to set up. So there's no purpose of us letting people in when they don't get to get what they want. We've been selling out of our product every single day. Thank you, Bristol. Thank you, the whole area. If it, because of your love and support, it's overwhelming. We are just overwhelmed by the ability to do what we're doing and making it a big business. Thank you.